this red table for me, um, just all the stuff that's going on in the press. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was important to come to the table to really clear the air. Somebody made a statement for me that wasn't a statement I made mm -hmm. that went cray cray. And one of the reasons why I wanted to come to the table is the media, the headlines. Oh. We specifically never said anything. anything. Yes. We were purposely not saying anything. Any headline that says Jada said or Will said or the Smith said mm -hmm. is not true. We specifically never said anything. Right. Well, you know what this is about. Let's talk about it. Hello there, I'm James Lee. And I'm Tasha Lee. And we are Elevate Marriages. We are marriage advocates. We are uh, marriage experienced in love and together as husband and wife for 20 years. It'll be 21 years next month. It really will. That's true. Girl, you can know. Really? Yeah. But anywho, um, we are nothing more than two vessels that the Lord has put together. And we are here to share with you our experience as husband and wife to kind of help you navigate the ups and downs and ins and outs of uh, the marriage relationship. And we hope that you can use this and share it with whomever you think might be able to benefit from our channel, this platform, because we truly feel like this is a message that God has given us to give to you. Absolutely. And it's not that our way is right or wrong. Let me just make sure I'm clear on that. It's not that this way is the uh, the best way. Or the only way. No, that's true. Or the only way. But it ho <coughs> hopefully, hopefully it gives you some insight into what we've been through or what our experiences have been um, to make your way a little bit easier. Absolutely. So Absolutely. We do not take this for granted. We appreciate that you are tuning in, that you're listening to us on whatever platform you're on. Uh, mm -hmm. And we greatly appreciate your time. If we can be of any, uh, I guess if we can answer any questions or you have any suggestions or anything like that for us, please reach out to us at the leads at elevatemarriages.com. We are also open for being your personal marriage mentors. Mm -hmm. If that's something you would like and you would reach out to us at the leads at elevate marriages for that too. Absolutely. So yeah, I know. Well, first let me, let me say this before we even get into, <clears throat> um, the Smith saga, right? Yeah. James starts every one of our videos, or if you're listening to us um, on podcasts, out with um, "We are marriage advocates." At the end of the day, that's that's what this platform is Bottom about. Bottom line, we can as much as we're about to talk about the Smiths and maybe this this red table talk that they had. We are about marriage at the end of the day. Rather, you talk to us um, as far as we, if we are marriage mentors, those of you who we mentor, yes, yes. those of you that we mentor, <coughs> you know, we always say this, I could care less really about who said this or who said that or who's right or who's wrong. Because at the matter. end of the day, what I'm trying to save is the marriage. At the end of the day, what I want to come back together to be stronger than ever is the marriage. Absolutely. And regardless of what you hear over the next few minutes, that really is where this comes from. Just we're looking at what happened with the, the marriage. marriage. Yeah. So well said, love. Well said, well said. So um, it's it's the talk, right? It just happened. So it's what's hot, what's in the deal. And we don't do a whole lot of uh, mainstream, you know, in in the culture kind of stuff. Um, but when it pertains to marriage, um, 
we feel like we want to, you know, give give our voice, give our our opinion. So whether you agree with what we have to say or not, we respect it. Um, we respect your opinion. We, we respect if you um, agree or disagree with what we have to say. But like Tasha said, this is going to um, be, you know, about this marriage. So let's talk of it. Um, if that's what we want to call this, right? Well, a that's marriage. what we call it. That's <coughs> not what they call it. That's what so I let's mean, start you know? there. So, right? so what they call uh, a marriage. Hey, no judgment on anybody. Um, but what I think marriage is, um, is probably what we thought as the general Look. public, what it looked like. Mm-hmm. Right. And you hear rumors of, of what what's going on in people's relationship. And it's like you kind of take it with, like, with a grain of salt. You know, it's like you don't really know um, exactly what it is. But what I do know is one married person to another married person. If you're together and you decide that you no longer want to be together and you're done that's usually called, you know, you're going to get separated and then you get a divorce. Mm-hmm. And in doing so, you make a decision that, okay, we're no longer together. Um, I'm not with you, but I'm still married until. I'm not. I'm not married. Right. <laughs> now right? that's the truth. You're married until you're not married. And and with that said, not that we even agree going down that path, no matter what the circumstances are. But you don't move on with someone else unless you have been released of, I guess, it's not possible to be released as a covenant, but you decide that you're not going to be together as husband and wife anymore. And it's legally been filed that you're not, you know, you're divorced. That's what we believe. I agree. We're not pr- pushing that on anyone else, but that's what we believe. As long as you are husband and wife, I don't care if you've been separated 30 years, you are still married to your wife until, or to your husband until, until you're, you're not. not. Right. Um, so. So what do you think about this <clears throat> whole thing that, um, you know, because I guess anybody can define it however you want to define it. That's how Elevate Marriage just defines it. Right. Correct. But the Smiths say, um or shall I say August said, the Smith said, that they're not, it's not a marriage. It is a life partnership. Yeah. And can those two things actually be separate? Is a life partnership not marriage? Because um, I think life partnership, I think more business. You know, Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. Oh, we're partners, you know, for life or whatever. Um but they kind of separated that and say, you know, well, we don't have a marriage anymore. We have a life partnership. Like forever, whatever, we're together, but we're not married. Well, see, when I think of life partnership, I'm thinking, you know, like like you mentioned business, right? Right. Um, um, Johnson & Johnson. Uh, ben & Jerry's. Ooh, I like that uh, partnership. You know, Procter & Gamble. Those, those are... Uh, OJ & Gabbana. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> those are partnerships. Um... When it comes to a marriage, you're one. You become one. Uh-huh. So you're living your marriage relationship as one individual life together. I like it. I like it. Yes. So if you start to get that divide in your mind that you're, okay, we, we're going to be in this, but you do your own thing and I'm going to do my own thing. Why are you even still together? And what makes this situation, in my opinion, worse is that not only do we have a divide because we've decided you do your thing, I do my thing. We've stuck somebody smack dab in the middle. A third person. That wasn't the Holy Ghost. Hello. This is true. So you have that person in the middle interfering with you even coming back together. Because you got somebody stuck in the middle. So they're always going to be in between you being back to where you need to be. And that's where I think the whole thing got caught up, in my opinion. Because we've heard for years that the Smiths had Smiths had an open relationship. Right. Different video. Go back and check it out because we talk about that, too. Not our um, words. It's just been kind of what people put right. out there. Because I, don't, I yeah. don't know if that's true or not. Because actually, I don't think I've ever heard an interview 
that I actually heard them say it. I think I've read it and and heard it repeated. Um, But that opens up a whole different dynamic in what is supposed to be we are one. Because now you got other people in there and we become four five or however many there are however many there are. yeah absolutely and that causes i think a bigger problem what i also wanted to mention about this video is um i was the fact that she decided that jada decided that she wanted to bring it up and clear the air okay right. great i'm i mean i was all for that because the uh, previews say that she's going to bring herself to the table. Right. So when the camera pans back and Will is sitting there, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And the brother looks so defeated. I mean, you know, Will Smith is Will Smith. Will is Will. He, he is. always looking fly, always right. looking 10 years younger than his age. Always. He don't look like he was sleeping. I don't know. He just looks like a whole different man. And I don't know. I just, just like, I don't know. I felt for him in that moment. I, th- I think, um, and, and you know, you get yourself in a situation that you got to deal with the consequences. But I think for me, if all was said was true, exactly. If it's all true, I think Will felt betrayed. Um, betrayed by his wife or betrayed by August? Oh. Individuals included, because it, or if betrayed listen, by himself. Because if all is said is true, I knew all of this was going on. I just didn't want it to see the light of day. But I knew we we've had an open relationship forever. If possibly, it was true, people. possibly. So let's just back up to be, uh, betrayed by everyone. Because if you take the story from what it, uh, for what it's worth, this young man came into their lives and they were helping him get well from his sickness and drugs or whatever the case is. So I basically took you in um, to help you recover, right? And then regardless of the circumstances, right? If I decided, hey, I'm open uh, with my marriage, my relationship, cool, that's what we do, that's what we've agreed to. But you, someone that I've taken into my home almost as a son, almost, um, you go there with my wife and you, my wife, go there with this kid who you brought around my family and that I've treated like a son. I'm mad at all of y'all. But what, what is that saying? Go, there's no honor. Uh, there's amongst no, these. There's no honor amongst these. It is not. Oh, oh, there's rules to this thing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize, and I'm speaking, you know, on Jada's behalf, not taking her side at all. I'm just basically devil's advocate, I guess. But there's rules to this? So I didn't know. You're going to have to give me a list of those that I can and cannot uh, sleep with. I didn't know that there was rules to this. I thought, hey, open was open, and I get to do as I please. That's what we're doing. So now you're going to run your list by me. So that I can tell you who you can and who you cannot. Yeah, that sounds yeah um, like it could be a conversation that they had. But I, I, that's just what it looked. He looked like he felt betrayed to me. I, and I unfortunately, so. I say, man, you, you got to roll with it. You got to, you know, you roll around with the dogs. You might pick up some fleas. They say, right? That's true. So um, that's what you chose to do. It, it is what it is. Now I will say. The fact that they brought it out, it's none of our business. At the end of the day. It, it ain't, it, you, ain't, you don't have to explain yourself We just running our mouth, really. Um, but the fact that you brought it to the public to to basically do some healing, as she put, um, and to explain yourself, go ahead and own it. Don't stumble around it, talk about using some entanglement. <laughs> and oh, come on, just own it. You ate the last donut, you ate the last donut. Just Entanglement call it what it is. sounds better than... I was in a relationship while I was married. Man, oh, look, that just entanglement, entanglement makes it sound like you like someone tricked you. Like, oh man, I was walking through and I was entangled in this spider web. No, you chose to do whatever it was that you did. Facts. Period. Facts. Just own it. That's why Will was like, hey, a relationship? Just call it what it is. If we're gonna be out here and as much as we're putting our business out here, just go ahead and give the folks, you know, the the real deal. There's no need to lie about it, no need to to sugarcoated so to speak so for me it's just kind of one of those things where 
it's out there. You do it. Hey, it is what it is. One of the other things that I wanted to bring up about the video um, is I think people feel like uh, you get a pass because we were on the outs. You get a pass because we had been fighting right. and fussing and, 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 and separated, as we, they we say. We weren't together. We weren't together. Again, like we went back and we were talking about it a little bit ago. You were still married, you know, until you're not. But you just think you get a pass because, you know, I, I wasn't fooling with you. Oh, we said we was over. I was done with you. Yeah. No no papers filed because obviously they weren't done because, I mean, when was the last time you saw the Smiths not together, number one? And two, you're back together now. So there was right. a chance, but you had somebody in between you that wouldn't allow you to get back to where you needed to be. Absolutely. In my opinion. Um, so I, I, I don't want people to get that confused either. Your marriage, um, there's always a chance. I, I can recall just being much younger and thinking about what I thought deal breakers were. You know, th well, this happened. I ain't, this happened. I ain't no way I'm a, you know, mm -hmm. this, that, and the third. But you don't know what you're going to do until you get into those type right. of situations. Right. And then you don't know. <clears throat> This means so much to me. The marriage that I have that that God has given me to share with James is extremely valuable to, valuable to me. It is one of my uh, most prized possessions, right? So I'm going to fight, kick, scream, pull, whatever I have to do to be able to hold on to this. So I get that part. So when you say, oh, well, you know, it wasn't going right. So it was easy for me to just go find somebody else. How does that happen? Right. Because either you in it or you're not. And if you're not, then don't be. And then you're free to do whatever you want to do. But sometimes I think things get all entangled when there's money involved Absolutely. and all this other stuff. So, I don't know. I think I think it, the what I think we can relate to, you know, I don't know how many of you are on financially on the Smith level. We are not. We are not. We are not. No. So I'm just saying that with all of that, um, you can't let anything get in between where you need to be with your spouse is basically what Absolutely. I'm saying. Absolutely. You know, that separation doesn't mean that you have free reign to do whatever that could break down that marriage right. unit even more so. So nice segue, right? Because quite frankly, they are still together. They're still married. Um, and given that if everything kind of blows over, ultimately, even this, was not enough to kill the marriage. Yeah. And we say that all the time to people. There's nothing, if you are you have two willing parties, nothing that you cannot overcome if you decide that you want to stay married to your spouse, period. Nothing is insurmountable. You can overcome it. You can deal with it. It can be tough. It can hurt. Um, you can want to pop them in the head or whatever the case is, but you can overcome it if you're willing to do the work to get back to where you were. So, but it's about doing the work. Absolutely. It's not just going to happen and clear up over uh, just like that. But, um, I can respect the fact that they are still together. I can respect the fact that, um, it looks like they're, you know, maybe they're on the trek towards some healing. Um, and I hope that they do. I hope that they can bring it back together. Um, but I'll say this, if they keep the confusion and all the, the extras, the little minutia in between them, the people, it'll end up back to where it was. So um, that's unfortunate because ultimately that covenant is between just you and your husband or you and your wife. So that's and they have such a great opportunity to, and not to say that they have set themselves up to be any kind of marriage role no, model no, no, or relationship goals or whatever the case may be. I think we have probably <laughs> done that, you know, as society. Absolutely. But what a great opportunity to talk to people about or show, not necessarily talk to people, but show people how this doesn't have to be the end of your marriage. Absolutely. That you can work through some of the toughest times yes. and come out on the right side of it. You can. Anything can be overcome. It's up if to you. You choose to do it. It's up yes. to you. Yes. You, you, you decide what the actual uh, deal breakers yeah. are. 
so there you have it i mean again um it, we wanted to kind of give our opinion real quickly which you know we're still about the marriage so it is what it is hopefully this will blow over for the smiths and they can get back to where they need to be as a couple and their, their kids and the family around them can see the healing and the repair take place in their relationship. And we pray that you do the same if you're going through the same thing. So right. that's what we have for tonight. Until next time, do the best you can until you know better. And when you know better, do, do better. better. I'm James Lee. I'm Tasha Lee. We'll talk to you soon. Peace. Bye.